on in the blink of an eye if you're not careful. Yeah, you're totally right. And you know, a big thing about Ness and uh, Ness counterplay in general is realizing when is your turn. Yes. And, and what I mean by that is knowing when he can press another button. You know, like after Ness fares, you know, he can double jump, double jump Nair, right? Yep. If he double jumps Nair, he can come down with another fair, he can come down with an up air, he can drift away. All right, he runs at you. When he jump Nairs, okay, he can do another one. All right, <laughs> you know, yeah. he, he's coming at you. He can now magnet cancel. You just have to be very, very careful at what uh, mix up Ness still has available to make sure it's actually your turn to punish him. Because if you press a button too early while the pressure's still going, Ness will punish you for it. And like I said earlier, you get touched once potentially, and you could be taking a lot of percent, if not just losing your stock outright. So that's a very good point. You definitely have to wait. And I really feel like Cake has been doing a decent job of that. Kind of oh just waiting gosh. for his turn, but <laughs> that was dangerous. And that's the that next gross. main X factor too. It seems like every single Ness main is just like has a third eye for landing PK Thunder too. Oh boy. And that PK Thunder, one of those projectiles that I feel like if you think about it, like theoretically should not be as good as it is. It's but it is an yeah. absolutely fantastic move. And so is that back air as we see Atata take that first stock off of Cake. And that is such a good play from Atata. Again, realizing when it's your turn to punish, where you have to punish. Atata used that uh, the side magnet to position himself in front of Cake in the air, something that other characters can't do. It puts Ness at a weirder angle than you're used to, stalls him a little bit, and allows Atata to get that back air relatively free. Yeah, and I really feel like Atata has just been playing this Duck Hunt matchup. Damn near, oh, never mind, damn, that was kind of cute. <laughs> damn near flawlessly up until that point. And like you said, just using all these mix-ups that Ness has to basically their full capacity, building on a relatively big lead right here, still surviving at 162. That can is a... That can got you a little bit more, more knockback. Yeah, then this is the problem with Duck Hunt, right? You see Duck Hunt have a ton of cool setups, a ton of cool plays, a ton of cool mix, right? The problem is, you know, it does a little damage and never kills. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the fact, I feel like this Ness has to work so, or sorry, Duck Hunt has to, has to work so much harder to take a stock. We had to see um, Cake land, what, like three or four cans in a row just to KO Ness at like 170 80? something, yeah. 180 something. Whereas right now, if Ness gets a grab, that's stuck. Yeah, for sure. And like, Duck Hunt is decent at racking on damage, especially with this side beat. Yep. Cake actually leaving a little bit of damage on the board there, but there it, it, but it really comes down to killing. Not only does Duck Hunt need like a kind of a crazy setup to kill at all, the crazy setups don't kill that early. And so now you have a character that has to work pretty hard to secure kills in a weird way, which is annoying. Versus Ness, who can basically just kill you straight up, damn here whenever they want to. Down smash out of shield. Okay. okay. Oh, you know what? I love using that up air to cancel out that PK Thunder, but I don't know if you're making a bet. No, you're not. Yeah. I think this kind of... Did, 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 did he up B and then side B out of that up B? Yeah. Is that what happened there? Oh, it's man. just a like... Unfortunately, that was death. My, my final... <laughs> Part, my parting gift. Yeah. Take this. Take this. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. My final <laughs> message. <laughs> oh, man. But right there, Cake unfortunately kind of getting rocked by a Tata. And you brought up a really good point right there, just knowing when to take your turn. I feel like a Tata early on was doing a decent job of knowing, okay, I'm gonna, a Tata's gonna touch me, he's gonna do some damage, cool, let me wait. I feel like early on did a really good job of that, but as the match kind of got further and further, I felt them start to get maybe a little bit more aggressive, like uh, with a lot of unsafe aggression, yeah, I should yeah. say. And a Tata basically just said, okay, cool. If you're gonna do that, I'm just going to sit and shield. As soon as you're open, I'm going to take you for 30% basically every time I touch you. And it can be tricky too, right? Because, you know, you want to put pressure on Ness. You don't want to let him just kind of mash on your shield uh, and, and get stuff going for free. And Duck Hunt is a decent character at that. They can play at that mid-range and get the damage going. So you, I guess you want to be confident in it, but Atata just dictating the pace of the game. The last game, at least they can into the up air. 95% oh almost unanswered on the side of Cake right now. And I don't know if Atata like drank Bugs Bunny secret stuff or something, but looking like a completely new player right here in this game number two, off to a very quick lead. And this might actually be a stop. The reverse can, uh, not, not gonna okay. do it in the air dodge to the ledge. The third jump coming out of Ness oh. and the can! Oh, these cans! Just misses, and like I said, it sucks that that's how you have to kill. You have to set up a can nine years in advance, you have to <laughs> F-throw them, and then you have to hope that the can can still hit. Like, Wait, you gotta pre-order that can. Oh, whoa, okay. And then, like you said, just 
Cake has to do so much yeah. just to almost get a KO. Yeah, and it's like we saw so much pressure on the ledge. We see a Tata at 170% getting hit by these hands. Man, was, does Ford throw not even KO there? No. Oh my gosh, man, Douglas. That's crazy. <laughs> Jeez. That being said, <laughs> All, all the all of the, the ish we're talking about, Duck Hunt, Cake is well within the lead right Absolutely. now. Atata seems to have no answer for getting out of the corner, and it doesn't matter how late you kill, really, if you get it eventually and your opponent's just in the corner Ooh. the whole time. Yo, he, he really let that rip, huh? That was uh, that was brave. That yeah. was a, that was an incredibly brave option there from Atata. If he landed it, it would have looked like an absolute genius. But unfortunately, that uh. That down beat coming through from K kind of shielding him from that hit. And like you said earlier, Atata looking very, very good. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Looking very, very good in this game, too. Looking completely brand new. Oh, and um, the up smash to catch yeah. the aggressive landing coming out of Cake, trying to get back on stage. A decent mix up because of how good Ness Yo Yo is at the ledge. Uh -oh. And this is huge uh -oh. damage. Yeah, yep. big, big damage coming through from Cake. Got about 100% right now on a Tata. But this is where we're going to have to start to see some crazy setups coming through from Cake if they do want to take the stock. What is happening? Why, I, I, <laughs> I was like, wait. I, I wasn't going to say anything because I don't even know what, what the hell I just saw. There was a mix up there from Cake that if it hit. We would have been in yeah. the stratosphere right now, but <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, Atata is able to get around it and doing a great job of putting himself back in this game. Like we said, these kill percents, they matter. You know, Cake was able to, you know, alleviate it last stock a little bit because of how long he was able to keep Atata on the ledge. But this stock, it's a little tougher. It's a little tougher, and Atata is finding ways to get themselves back on the stage and is finding ways to get themselves the kill. Oh man, a tat I, I feel really bad right now because Cake, I, I, I really feel like for a lot of that, Cake was really doing a good job of outplaying a Tata, but that's I feel like where like, this character flaws start to come in. Ness is going to kill you or KO you consistently every single time, and we're starting to see a Tata had to throw out a crazy up air just to get that KO. Yeah, thankfully able to get it before too much damage was done, oh, but... Geez. Ness doesn't oh, leave too much damage to send you deep off stage, and these PKs are going to be a hassle. Doesn't actually get the yo-yo in the right spot, but a missed time to get up attack will secure the game for Atata. Cake, unfortunately, falling down to losers. And someone who, honestly, despite losing, I feel like played decently well. Someone who I definitely would not want to fight in losers, yeah. bracket, in losers bracket, especially early on. Two really, really great players. Honestly, no matter who loses, I wouldn't want to see that loser in, in, down in the lower brackets. But Atata moving on um, on winner's side. And to kind of, you said it earlier, I want to bring the point back, just doing such a 